Hey YouTube, Opinionated Reviewer here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.0 Beta 2 using SnowRees 2.8 Beta 3. Now this is a Tether jailbreak, so you'll have to use iBooty to boot your iDevice every time your battery dies or you turn off your iDevice or reboot it. So always remember that. I have the link to everything down in the description. You're going to need your, uh, your um, 5.0 Beta 2 firmware. You're going to need the Snow Breeze. And you're going to need the iTunes 10.5 Beta 2. If you don't have iTunes 10.5 Beta 2, you'll keep getting the iTunes 27 error and it's really annoying. So with that being said, let's start. You're going to right click Snow Breeze, click Properties. I'm going to click Compatibility. Check off run this program in compatibility mode 4, Windows Service Pack 2. Check run as run this program as an administrator. Click apply and click OK. And you're gonna run Snow Breeze. And for this jailbreak, we're pointing it to the beta 2 firmware, not the beta 1 like we did with Red Snow. So after you run Snow Breeze, you click OK. Close credits. And activated is disabled in this, so unlockers should always stay away from these betas. Uh, that's the unlockers that use Ultra Snow because it's it's not being updated to support. So you're gonna click next. I'm gonna browse for the beta two firmware that you downloaded from the links provided. I'm doing it on my iPhone four, so this is it right here. I'm gonna click it. Snow Breeze is gonna identify it. As you can see, it's my iPhone 4 Beta 2, so you're going to click next, the arrow, and just click. You can click all of these methods, preserve your baseband, every single one, so you don't have to specifically check preserve your baseband. Uh, since this is just a simple one, we're just going to click uh, simple mode and let it and just click next. We don't need to do expert mode. There's nothing to select. So we're just going to click simple mode and click next, and it's going to... Snow Breeze is going to create the IPSW firmware and remember all of these preserve your baseband and this is the best method to use if you want to preserve your baseband to unlock after because the, the new beta, beta 2 updates your baseband and the GV sim does not work on that new baseband so if you want to use your GV sim this is the best method after Snow Breeze is building the firmware I'm going to come back so now that Snow Breeze is finished we're going to get ready to put an iDevice in a Pwn DFU state. So we're going to click OK. And we're going to hold the power button for 3 seconds. Hold the power and the home for 10 seconds. Release the power. Keep on holding the home for 15 seconds or until Snow Breeze recognizes your iDevice. So we're going to click Start and follow the on-screen commands or you can follow me. So click Start. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you release, Snow Breeze recognize your iDevice and it's going to run iRem to put your iDevice into a pawn DFU state. So after that's finished, you're just going to click, you can X out Snow Breeze. And you're going to open up iTunes 10.5 Beta 2. Don't forget that. And it's going to recognize your iDevice in, in a recovery mode. So you're going to click Shift, Restore. And Snow Breeze will create the firmware and put it on your desktop by default. Always. So you just look for it. Snow Breeze iPhone 4 5.0 Beta 2. That's mine because I'm using the iPhone 4. Just click Restore. And I'm going to come back when this is finished. So now that iTunes is finished, you're going to realize that your Safari and your Cydia is crashing. Don't panic. That's expected. Now what you have to do is use iBooty, which is put up, placed on your desktop by default, and boot your iDevice tethered. So we're going to run iBooty. iBooty. Hear that? iBooty. Booty. So iBooty is up, you're going to select your iDevice, which should be only one, the one that you use. And you're going to get ready to put your iDevice into a DF, DFU state. So we're going to click 
start I'm gonna go one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight and that's it just gonna wait let eye booty work its magic now that your eye device has booted up since you booted Tenard your Cydia and your Safari should be working as normal and always remember this is a tether jailbreak so if your battery dies you reboot your eye device turn it off when you turn it back on you're gonna have to boot it tethered with eye booty with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day eye device daily talk.